It's about to be mosquito season and two New Jersey towns are going to take extra measures to combat these impending menacing swarms of bloodsuckers. Now we know that mosquitoes spread deadly diseases like dengue, West Nile, as well as the frightening Zika disease that we're seeing now. So Woodbridge and Perth Amboy, they are working with the Middlesex County Mosquito Control to combat these bloodsuckers. I sat with Perth Amboy Mayor Wilda Diaz and she handed me all the social media information that they're going to be giving away. It'll be at every location, libraries, uh, town hall, so that you can prepare yourself for these mosquitoes <laughs> as you travel and as you're at home. She explained that the community residents in Perth Amboy and in Woodbridge, most of them are from a Latino heritage. They come from South America, from Central America, and when they travel down there, they need to be safe and they need to be aware of the potential dangers, especially pregnant women. Not to um, alarm them, but give them enough information so that they can protect themselves and their families as they travel. She learned that we don't have the mosquito, the Aedes aegypti, which has Zika here right now, but we do have another mosquito. So I went down to Mosquito Control in Edison to speak with Matt Brickerton. He's the biologist there that works with the mosquitoes. This is a hot breeding ground right here. Mm hmm Yep. I went into his lab to learn more about the mosquitoes that we're facing here in New Jersey. One of the first concerns is people coming from any of these countries and having been exposed to this virus. Now he says, use some technical terms, he said we don't have any of these vectors here, but we do have a similar mosquito to the Aedes aegypti, which is the Asian tiger mosquito. In the laboratory, they've found that they are a, a, a perfectly competent vector of this disease. So it's not to say that we did that there's no chance of it happening here. There is a very good chance of it happening here. I said, what can we do to prevent that? This is one of the all too common uh, sources of, of uh, mosquito larvae is uh, things like bird baths. And a lot of people don't realize, but if you're not dumping that water and replacing it every seven days or, or sooner, um, this is going to produce mosquitoes. This is a tire, and typically when people discard tires illegally, they fill right up with water. And the tire is kind of, it's kind of the ideal habitat for some mosquito species, like the Asian tiger mosquito. Flower plants drain that water. You see the water there. Just every, every week, go dump it out filled up with fresh water. That way you prevent mosquitoes from growing in there. The mosquito problem in the world is so bad that there are, I think the number was something between 300 and 400 million people are exposed to malaria still today. And the World Health Organization has now uh, encouraged in a different way over the past 10 years saying you got to start spraying DDT again. There are many towns, I mean, all here in New Jersey, Long Island, even New York City that have spray programs. I mean, they do go around and spray for mosquitoes. I want to see like those blue lights hanging on every lamppost in these towns. Right,